What's up guys, it is ExaGhost here. Welcome to the video. In my last video, I actually went back to Modern Warfare 2019 and thank you for the support on that video. It actually did really well, surprisingly. But when I played that game, I couldn't help but wonder, you know? I sat down, I carefully looked at the game with my eyeballs and I thought to myself, what happened with the graphics? This game released in November 2019, over four years ago, and somehow every COD afterwards has downgraded in graphics. Even the recent Modern Warfare 3 is a noticeable downgrade in graphics. And it's not just me saying it, I made a post on Twitter, by the way, check out my Twitter, wink wink, and a post on my YouTube channel comparing Modern Warfare 2019 with Modern Warfare 3 on the highest graphic settings, and uh, basically everyone said that MW 2019 looks better. When everyone is saying the same thing, you know something is wrong. But to answer the question of why graphics have gotten worse in Call of Duty, we must go back to Call of Duty 1 2003, which is when I was born by the way. <laughs> I'm actually just a few months older than the first COD game, I'm proud of myself. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Call of Duty 1 up to Call of Duty 3, they looked like the most standard PS2 FPS games in the world. You know, nothing too special, nothing too bad. It was only when Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare released in 2007, when the graphics have improved drastically and Call of Duty was now considered revolutionary. Not just for the visuals, but also the gameplay itself, this game set a new standard for FPS games. And according to Google, COD 4 used the exact same engine as COD 1, even though the graphics are clearly much better in COD 4. How is this possible? Well, according to Google, once again, the engine stayed the same, but it was heavily modified with graphical improvements. And this point will be very important for later when we compare Modern Warfare 2019 with the other CODs that released afterwards. Two years later, in 2009, they released Modern Warfare 2, a sequel to COD 4, and it actually used a new modified version of the IW engine. So we still are on the same engine, but just modified, keep that in mind. Modern Warfare 2 looked even better than COD 4, and this game aged like fine wine. Unfortunately, this is when COD stalemated and the graphics did not improve any further. Then in 2013, next-gen consoles released, PS4 and the Xbox One. Call of Duty fans were expecting a spectacular game with stunning visuals, and what they got was Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. Our new dog model is taken from high resolution scans of an actual SEAL Team service dog. Every detail is replicated, right down to the scars on the nose and the tattoo inside the ear. Bruh. What a joke. People were debating whether Black Ops 2 or COD Ghosts had better graphics because it wasn't clear, even with the difference between the PS3 and the PS4. It was an embarrassment. At this point, other FPS games such as Battlefield absolutely dwarfed Call of Duty in graphics. These graphics were outdated and not impressive. These were dark times for visuals. And by the way, Call of Duty Ghosts still uses the same IW engine, except this time it's 6.0. We've been on three console generations and they still use the same engine. For the next six years after COD Ghosts, there is basically nothing to talk about. The graphics have stayed the same. Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 4? I mean, they released five years apart. There has to be a difference. Yeah, nah, they look the same. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the big moment. 2019. Modern Warfare has came back. And the visuals have improved so much. This is the biggest gap in graphics since COD 4 compared to COD 3. Except this time, we were still on the PS4 and the Xbox One. It wasn't even a different console generation like back in COD 4. No, how could this have happened? I mean, surely it's a new engine. They must have threw out the IW engine, right? That's what a lot of people were saying. They claimed that this is a brand new engine, but <laughs> let me tell you, 
it in fact is not a new engine. Modern Warfare 2019 still used the IW engine, but this time modified to 8.0. This actually surprised me as well, because this does not look anything like the past CODs. It looks like a completely different engine. I mean, everything has changed. The animations, the sound effects, the lighting, the textures. Remember when I said that Call of Duty's graphics have been outdated since 2009? And other FPS games such as Battlefield have dwarfed it in graphics? Well, this game changed it all. Modern Warfare 2019 is considered to be better looking than any Battlefield game on the market, even Battlefield 2042, the newest release, and it's said to be one of the best looking FPS games in the world, if not the number one best looking FPS game in the world. All I can say about this is it's incredible. Clearly a lot of passion and work has been put into this game. Whew. The future is looking bright. Surely the next Call of Duty game will look even better, right? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Where's my fucking graphics, mate? Give me my fucking graphics. Black Ops Cold War, released in 2020, is a massive downgrade to Modern Warfare 2019 visually. This shit looks like a PS3 game. What happened? Honestly guys, I can't even tell you myself. When I searched the engine for Black Ops Cold War, it doesn't even say which IW version it is, it just tells me IW. They can't even properly name the engine for this game, so I'm not sure what happened. It just looks like shit. It also runs like shit. It has the same FPS as Modern Warfare 2019, even though it looks 10 times worse. Now, the excuse for this game being unfinished was that development teams, they had some trouble with Activision, they had to switch teams from Sledgehammer Games to Treyarch, and also the pandemic made it so they had to work from home instead of the studio. It is understandable why the graphics, animations and sound effects have gotten worse in this game. I can definitely excuse it. In 2021, Call of Duty Vanguard released. It used the exact same engine as Modern Warfare 2019, the IW 8.0 engine. And although it looked better than Cold War, it still did not look as good as Modern Warfare 2019. Oh damn, 51% liked this game? People liked Vanguard? What? Holy shit. Anyway, a lot of people make the misconception that the engine is all that matters graphically. If one game has the same engine as another game, they will look identical graphically. But that is actually incorrect. And let me introduce you to the beautiful word called Art Direction. Well, that's two words. The engine is just a tool for the developers to use, but the rest goes to their talent and skill. This is why you can have a very cartoony and unrealistic looking game, and then a very realistic, gritty looking game on the same exact engine, for example the Unreal Engine 5, used by Fortnite, which has very cartoony graphics. But then there's other video games which use the Unreal Engine 5, which look extremely realistic. So you guys get my point, it was never about the engine, it was about the direction of the developers and their vision. The reason why Call of Duty Vanguard has worse graphics, animations and sound effects than Modern Warfare 2019, despite using the same exact version of the engine, is because either the developers did not have enough time to work on the game graphically, or they just didn't put as much effort and passion into it as Infinity War did for Modern Warfare 2019. Art direction takes time, effort and passion, you can't just copy and paste an engine and the game will look brilliant. So how about Modern Warfare 2 2022, released three years after Modern Warfare 2019 and developed by Infinity Ward, the same studio. How do the graphics between these two games compare? Now at this point it's pretty close and when I ask people on Twitter or YouTube which game looks better, I actually get mixed responses. Some people say MW 2019, some people say MW 2. And by the way, MW2 modified the IW engine once again, now we are on IW 9.0. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the graphics in both of these games are equal. But the point is, a lot of people claim that the graphics are worse now because the engine was changed. But no, it was not changed, it was only modified. And it doesn't really matter anyway because it's not about the engine, it's about how the engine is used. 
I'm sure the next Infinity Ward game in 2026, Modern Warfare 4, I assume, is going to look brilliant as well. Maybe even better than anything we have ever seen. Unfortunately, the other two studios, Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games, either never have enough time to develop the graphics, or they just don't really care that much. So there you have it, that's the answer you've been looking for, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And by the way, I'm not even gonna talk about MW3 because it's basically the same exact game as MW2. I compared both games on the same maps and same guns and they looked identical. I have a question for you guys, is this Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3? The answer is Modern Warfare 2. But this is Modern Warfare 3. It looks identical, doesn't it? Thank you for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Mwah.